Hi everyone. Welcome to On Point. In this video we are going to discuss about kidney function test, or renal function test, RFT. So without any delay let's start the video. Kidney function tests. Kidney function tests are urine, or blood tests, that evaluate how well your kidneys are working. Kidneys play several vital roles in maintaining your health. One of their most important jobs is to filter waste materials, from the blood, and expel them from the body as urine. The kidneys also help control the levels of water, and various essential minerals, in the body. In addition, they're critical to the production of vitamin D, red blood cells, hormones that regulate blood pressure, symptoms of kidney problems. Symptoms that may indicate a problem with your kidneys include high blood pressure, blood in the urine, hematuria, frequent urges to urinate, difficulty beginning urination, painful urination, dysuria, swelling of the hands and feet due to a buildup of fluids in the body. Types of kidney function tests. You may have blood tests for kidney function such as blood urea nitrogen bun measures nitrogen made from protein breakdown in your blood estimated gfr or agfr calculates filtration rates based on your protein levels age gender size and race serum creatinine looks for the buildup of creatinine a waste product from muscle tissue breakdown your healthcare provider may also use 24 hour urine tests, including microalbuminuria looks for a specific protein called albumin. Urinalysis evaluates your urine for blood, proteins, and function. How the tests are performed Kidney function tests usually require a 24 hour urine sample and a blood test. 24 hour urine sample. A 24-hour urine sample is a creatinine clearance test. It gives your doctor an idea of how much creatinine your body expels over a single day. On the day that you start the test, urinate into the toilet as you normally would when you wake up for the rest of the day and night, urinate into a special container provided by your doctor. Keep the container capped and refrigerated during the collection process. Make sure to label the container clearly, and to tell other family members why it's in the refrigerator. On the morning of the second day, urinate into the container, when you get up. This completes the 24-hour collection process. Blood samples. Bun and serum creatinine tests require blood samples taken in a lab. The technician drawing the blood first ties an elastic band around your upper arm. This makes the vein stand out. The technician then cleans the area over the vein. They slip a hollow needle through your skin and into the vein. The blood will flow back into a test tube that will be sent for analysis. You may feel a sharp pinch or prick when the needle enters your arm. The technician will place gauze and a bandage over the puncture site after the test. The area around the puncture may develop a bruise over the next few days. However, you shouldn't feel severe or long-term pain. That's all for now. For more updates please do like, share, and subscribe. See you in next video. Thank you.